Tommy's Camping Adventure by Gladys Saxon, pictures by Mel Crawford, narrated by me. Tommy Miller and his family were camping in the big woods. My, it was fun. Tommy wanted only one thing, a special camp job that he could do. Everyone else had a camp job. One morning, Tommy crawled out of his sleeping bag much earlier than usual. He tried to make the breakfast fire. No luck. It would not burn. Don't feel bad about it, said his father. Making campfires is my camp job. A bit later, Tommy tried to cook the breakfast eggs. He put ten eggs in the pan. They burned. Too bad, Tommy, said his mother. But after all, cooking is my camp job. After breakfast, Tommy tried to work on the fishing poles and lines. What a tangle! That's my job, Tommy, said Big Brother Dave. You go and play somewhere. Tommy tried once more. He began to sweep up the camp. What a cloud of dust! Oh, Tommy, said Big Sister Anne, go and find your own camp job. Poor Tommy! What camp job could he do? Sadly, he climbed on a huge tree stump. He sat and thought and thought. He began to count the dark rings in the huge tree stump. He wanted to find out how old the tree had been when it was cut down. One hundred one, one hundred two, one hundred three years old, he said. Suddenly a rat-a-tat-tat from up high made him lose count. He saw a woodpecker making holes in a tree trunk. Those holes make a pattern, Tommy said to himself. I can always find that tree, and I will always be able to find our camp. He heard his father calling him. It was time to go swimming in the big cold lake. My, that was fun. Later that afternoon, the Millers decided to climb the mountain. Mr. and Mrs. Miller and Dave and Ann hurried up the cool, dark path. They talked and laughed and sang songs. Tommy walked behind them. He kept seeing interesting things. He saw a wood rat peeking out from its untidy nest. He saw a deer and her fawn resting in the grass. When they bounded away, he felt the warm place where they had been. Tommy, keep up with us, his mother called back. You'll get lost in these big woods. For a while, Tommy hurried. Then he stopped to look at a giant knot on a tree trunk. It looked like an elephant. Hurry up, Slowpoke, he heard Dave say. He caught up with his father. Together they saw tiny handprints in the mud along the banks of the little stream. Raccoons made those prints said his father. Now hurry, Tommy. Mr. Miller went on ahead. Tommy walked fast for a while. Then he stopped to watch a chipmunk opening up acorns. Suddenly Tommy felt hungry, too. Now Tommy really hurried. Soon he was on the top of the pebbly mountain with his family. They all ate peanut butter sandwiches and waited for the sunset. Oh, how wonderful it looks from high up here, Tommy said. And how peaceful it is, said his mother. Time to go down to camp, said Mrs. Miller. We don't want to get lost. Laughing and talking, they started down. Mr. Miller led the way. But what was this? They were back where they had started. Follow me, said Dave. I know the way down. But almost at once, back they came to the same pebbly place. Mrs. Miller and Anne looked worried. Are we lost? Anne asked. Tommy said quietly, I know the way. Oh, I do hope so, said his mother. Nobody else does. Tommy led them down to where he had watched the chipmunk, then down to the handprints in the mud. Tommy's right so far, said his father. Then Tommy led them down to the knot that had looked like an elephant, and down to where the deer had rested, and to the wood rat's nest. But where was the camp? It was almost dark. How could they find the camp? Our camp is over there, said Tommy. 
How did he know? Why, by finding again the pattern made by the woodpecker's holes. The Miller family ran where Tommy had pointed. There was the camp. Hooray for our Tommy, said Mr. Miller. I hereby appoint him our camp guide. Yay, said the others. Oh, how happy Tommy was when he crawled into his sleeping bag that night. He had found his special camp job.